That's right, Nalina. It's been a historic couple nights for UB basketball men's fans. First, a MAD championship win against CMU last night, and tonight we found out who the Bulls are going dancing with and where they'll be going dancing. For the first round of the NCAA tournament, they'll face off against fifth seeded West Virginia in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> Players and fans had a lot to cheer about tonight. After snagging a MAC championship, the 12th seeded Bulls are headed to Columbus to face off against 5th seeded West Virginia for round one of the NCAA tournament. A tournament UB has never played in before. The team was joined by dozens of fans at Santora's in Williamsville to rig in the big news. For longtime fans like Bill and Joanne Long, this is the start of a new era. This team has meant a lot to this community. Coach Bobby Hurley congratulated the team and its coaches, but says it's time to look forward. Now it sets in. You know, we have an opponent, and uh, you know it's thrilling to know we're playing in this tournament, and we'll have days uh, to prepare for it. For Buffalo native and senior Will Regan, there's no better way to end his UB career. The opportunity was real uh, tough when we were 6-6, six and six, and uh, to actually get here is pretty uh, memorable. For fans thinking of making the trip to Columbus, there's three ways to get tickets. UB will start selling them tomorrow at 10 a.m. You can also check out StubHub or Ticketmaster. They start at just under $100 and go up from there. The Longs are thinking about making the drive, but say whether they watch courtside or from home, it'll be a game to remember. This is a very positive thing for the city and for the university, and it can only get better from here. Starting Friday, hotels in Columbus, Ohio, range from about 120 up to 170 per night. But you're going to want to act on that fast because keep in mind, fans from all over the country are going to be looking for rooms. Also, keep in mind, CBS is home for March Madness, so tune in for all your game time coverage at News 4. Reporting from UB's campus, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 10.